Hello and welcome to the third episode of Grammar TV for 2020. I will be your host for today, Ethan. And I'm Catherine. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Grammar TV for 2020. I'm your... What? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go back up to the top. As you all know, we have been away and not been able to produce Grammar TV. But now we're back and better than ever. New Horizons is a program where grade 11s and 12s interact and help people living with disabilities. Launceston Grammar has been associated with New Horizons for several years. We asked Mr Hanson about the program. Um, New Horizons uh, is a group um, in the local community that supports people with Down syndrome. Um, not only sorry, Down syndrome but uh, all disabilities. These are, it's particularly for young people that have finished school and are at a point where um, they've got a lot of time on their hands. They're not necessarily um, ready to transition into the workforce yet. Um, so it creates that opportunity yeah. for them to, to get involved in the community. We asked Year 11 helper Samuel McKendrick about his involvement with the New Horizons program. Uh, I wanted to help people that were less fortunate than me and that do it a bit tougher and that I could help them out. Uh, just seeing them happy and getting to know my person a bit better. Been so far. Mr. Hansen has a personal connection with New Horizons and thought of the idea of combining the program with the school. Um, well, my daughter's involved in New Horizons. My daughter has Down syndrome, yeah. um, and Chloe's been using New Horizons for a number of years. So I had a connection with New Horizons and therefore knew a little bit about their program and what they did. Um, and I saw the potential for us to link together and also to help, to support. Um, and, and that's, I guess, the lovely thing, you know, about getting involved. You feel that you are really helping these young men and women um, and making their, their life that little bit better. Thank you, Will Bennett, for that story. I'm looking forward to being able to volunteer for such a good program. Yeah, so am I. It is important that we are using hand sanitizer in these times. Grace and Catherine have gone around the school and reviewed the available sanitizers. Here we have the ethanol hand sanitizer 80%. Its consistency is not amazing, it's a little bit water like drips all over the floor, but um, its smell is manageable. So here we have an automatic dispenser of hand sanitizer in the boarding house dining room, so therefore it is unavailable to most students. Here we have the antibacterial hand gel that can be found in the broadcasting studio or the canteen line. It's got a very clear consistency and it smells like stagnant water mixed with off yogurt and the smell stays on your hands for the whole day. So here we have the Sneed sanitizer, which is Mr. Snell's homemade sanitizer. Its consistency is quite runny, except it has a nice eucalyptus smell to it. It can be confused as some desk cleaner as it is in a spray bottle. We have our next hand sanitizer. It's very minimalistic. Um, consistency is airy, but only problem is it's not very effective or eye-catching. Here we have the Aquium with Aloe Antibacterial Hand Sanitizer, which can be found on entry to the learning hub. Gel-like, classic consistency, and its smell is... Next we have the Double Labelled Hand Sanitizer. There's only a few of these around the school, and this one can be found in the IT lab. It has a very um, runny consistency and smells a lot like Sharpies and permanent markers, but its unique pink colour makes up for that. So, to conclude this review, we have chosen what we believe to be the best hand sanitizer and the worst hand sanitizer. This one we chose is the best because it's nice smelling and we're actually willing to put it on our Thank you, Catherine and Grace, for that story. The worst one smells as bad as a dead animal. I tell you what, I wouldn't want this stuff on my hands. As you're all aware, we have spent the past several weeks at home doing our online learning. After those weeks at home, I was really looking forward to being back in the school environment. Millie Gatlin brings us this story. Um, I liked isolation because I got more family quality time with them. I, I like being with my family. No bed times. Um, learning some new platforms. And I like being able to be with my pets all the time. It enabled people to look at from teaching, how can you teach differently, but also enabled people, how can I learn differently? So. Uh, got to, now I'm back, I got to fly drones with Dr. Rogers, so pretty good. Yeah. Well, you guys around to be part of your lives and, and see you learn. Yeah. So I get to see my friends and mates. I get to see my friends. See my mates. I'm glad to see my friends back at school. I also get to drink chocolate milk so you get from the canteen. Yeah, the good canteen provides the goods. Yeah. Really? What did you get up to during ISO? 
not much, just a bit of YouTube, Netflix, and obviously my schoolwork. Obviously. Now that we're back at school, we have to follow the new social distancing rules. Amy Woodley will bring us a reminder of all of these. Although we're back at school, we still have to take precautions to prevent COVID-19. Always use the hand sanitizer stations around the school and refrain from using the water fountain. Make sure to social distance as much as possible by staying 1.5 metres apart, especially at lunch and recess. As much as you love your mates, now is not the time to hug them. Make sure to wipe down the desks at the start of each lesson before you use them. We also interviewed the canteen to find out what precautions they are taking. So at the moment we have taken all of our cutlery away and we're doing all biodegradable everything. We've got the lines on the ground so you guys know where to stand. So the students can get onto the Flexi School app, order online. You're guaranteed to get your stuff. It's ready to go. So, stand on the yellow crosses and remember, always cough into your elbow. <coughs> Thanks, Amy, for those reminders. This will conclude this episode of Grammar TV. It's good to be back in the office, isn't it? Oh, of course. Thanks for watching and make sure to drop a like and sub to the channel. No, no, do it, do it. No, yeah, Ethan, just you have do, to it. do it. Just do it, it'll be funny. If you get a practice piece, you've actually got to Just try, just practice popping your head in. And then just pop your head in and go, not, not too good. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was good.